Welcome back everybody. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome day. Just want to show you guys the Burmese python really fast before we get into feeding some of the snakes. So we get to feed the new IMG, the snow, the moon glow, green anaconda, and the black Mexican king snake. So it should be a pretty exciting video if you guys are into watching them eat. So here's Peaches. Some of you guys have been asking about her and she's good, super healthy had a little bit of an issue with the shedding on her. You can see just a tiny little bit is stuck on her. Uh, she did not shed out in one piece. She kind of shed out all over the place. I'm not really sure why. She's been in this eight foot um, cage for a couple of months. She shed out in here before with no issues. I did turn up the heat. I'm not sure if the humidity got thrown off because of that. So I went out and I bought a bigger um, cat litter box, put a ton of water in there. Hopefully that fixes the problem. Um, another thing is, you know, it's getting really cold here in Ohio. So having the house heat and then having the room heat and stuff like that, I think is throwing off the room just a little bit on the humidity. But all the other snakes seem to be shedding out just fine. So I really don't know what the problem is with that. So I really hope adding the extra water um, helped it out. So we'll see. We'll see what happens on her next shed, uh, which probably should be pretty soon because she's getting up there. I shouldn't say getting up there in age. She's only a little over a year. But, um, you know, she should be getting a growth spurt pretty soon, I would assume. And a lot of people are saying that she's too small for a bee. Um, over a year, but my feeding schedule will remain the same with her every week on smaller-ish rats. So no power feeding with her at all. We'll start off the video with the black Mexican king snake. Whoa, there we go. The one thing that I really do like about watching these guys is they don't constrict. I don't know if it's just the ones that I have or if that's something in general, but my California king snakes, she constricts her food and then eats it. Um, both black Mexicans king snakes seem to just bite onto them and um, just straight into eating them. I don't, I mean, I don't know if it was a live item, if they would constrict it. I don't know if they know the difference, but yeah, I mean, Super interesting to watch these guys eat. feed the snow. I'm a little nervous on the size of this one, although it looks a little big, but it kind of seems like it's the same width of the body, but we'll see. Hopefully we won't have any issues uh, with regurgitations, so we'll just let her eat and then not even bother her at all for 
until she poops. So we'll see what happens. Hope, hope for the best.
All right, awesome. They all ate, which is super cool. Even the new IMG, I'm glad all the new snakes that I've been getting are not having any issues uh, eating. And they eat pretty quickly too, so they're all in good health it seems. And I don't know about you guys, but it makes me really nervous watching snakes eat rats um, sideways. And where they bend the rat down their throat, it's just it's like unnatural to me to see that. And it doesn't matter if it's the the small ones or if it's the uh or if it's the bigger ones over here i've seen these guys eat some pretty large rats sideways i mean so far nothing bad has happened it just makes me nervous i don't know about you but uh i don't think anything bad would happen but it just seems weird like i said um but hopefully you guys enjoyed watching the snakes eat and uh hopefully you guys have an awesome day and i'll see you guys on the next video